What's up guys? Uh, this is Travis with my Back. Java development or learning Java or intro to Java you know whatever you want to call this course you're signed up this is the first video we're gonna cut get you guys caught up to date uh, basically what we want to do is first check out if you guys have the Java developer or the Java kit um, compiler or whatever um, on the Macintosh go to your applications and then we're gonna go up to utilities and terminal and what you want to type in is actually catch you got you uh, Windows users up to date on Windows you want to go over to your start your little search bar right above the start type in C M as in Michael D and hit enter um, so CMD enter and that will run your command prompt once you get to your command prompt um, both both on uh, Windows and Macintosh just type in Java C and if you guys have something like this most likely you have the Java compiler. If you don't, check the description, check the blog post, wherever you're watching this at, check you know the more info, info and I'll get you guys caught up to where you should be to continue on with this video. Um, but basically what you want to do after that is just go into your uh, whatever browser you use and type in Eclipse. Because Eclipse is going to make developing a lot easier, a lot simpler a lot easier to check all your bugs and your mistakes I don't know if you guys had the same problem I did in like you know elementary schools with uh, not crossing your T's and your teacher just like you know beat you with with like a bat um, you won't have to go through that with Eclipse uh, basically you go to Eclipse downloads right here put the link in the description or the blog post as well and what you want to download is the Eclipse IDE for Java developers and right here you can choose Windows, Mac, whatever you're working with and if you don't know if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit most likely you have a 32-bit no offense but the 64-bit is kind of the more expensive computers that just came out um, so if you do have a super expensive computer and you don't know which one you have most likely it's gonna be 64 if you just got it so you're gonna download that I already downloaded it and once you do that you want to go into uh, let's see here just got just got the Mac so I'm not quite familiar with it yet you want to go into your finder and then your downloads and for Windows users um, you want to extract your Java file um, or your Java download right there and you want to put it into your main hard drive so for like Windows you want to put it on the C drive for Macintosh just put it in your Macintosh hard drive I'm not going to replace it but I was just showing you where you should put it after you do that you want to open up Eclipse so go into that folder hit Eclipse and uh, right here once you hit Eclipse um, you're gonna have a little prompt like this the workspace launcher and what you want to do is you want to set up where your workspace is, where where you want to keep all your projects, your folders, you know everything you want to do with Java. This is where you're going to organize it. And I'm just going to do it within my documents. And I'm going to hit uh, new folder, and I'm going to call it uh, Java. Man, the control and the Apple thing or the command or whatever is really messing me up switching over to a Macintosh I'm just gonna create a new uh, folder called Java and within this folder I'm gonna create uh, another folder called the basics hit enter and this is what where we're gonna keep our workspace so we're gonna hit OK and here is our clips workspace um, here's our welcome screen it's not too welcoming we're just gonna hit X and we're good to go um, this is gonna be your, our Eclipse environment this is where all the magic is gonna happen like I say with the Android tutorials if you guys haven't seen those you should probably check them out as well uh, <laughs> but uh, to get started with Java we're just gonna right click and hit new Java project and uh, if you didn't have that package uh, this uh, package Explorer Basically, all you got to do is I'm gonna cancel that real quick. Um, all you got to do is just go up to Window, 
show view and then package explorer and it'll pull up this tab you can move it around wherever you want um, oops alright so then you right click and you hit new Java project and we're gonna name this the basics keep it uh, consistent can't spell though and here is our little project we got going on we're gonna create a real quick Java application just to make sure you guys are up to par and your compiler is working you have the Java development kit all that good stuff it's kind of just a test so we're gonna hit um, the source folder we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to new class and we're gonna call this uh, starting point and if you just found these tutorials and you're like wow he's not explaining anything what a douche um, <laughs> don't uh, don't discredit me yet because I just want to make sure that you guys are uh, following along and everything's working properly so we'll we'll get into more detail later but uh, basically this is going to be our public class and what we need to do is we just need to say uh, public static void main and then in parentheses we say a uh, string and whatever you want to type it or yeah I'm gonna just say trav whatever and then um, opening bracket and there will be our closing bracket and within here we're gonna say system dot uh, out dot print and um, within here we're gonna say uh, hello Travis because hello world is just so 1990s if you know what I'm saying um, we're just gonna say system out print and hit save and then we're going to right click on our basics folder right up here and run as Java application. And down here you can see it's printed hello, whatever you typed. Hopefully it's Travis. And if it was, hello guys. Thanks for watching the videos. Um, yeah, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later, but you know, hello. Anyways, um, if that worked for you, you're good. If not, check the description because I'll get you caught up to the point where you need to be to continue on with this series. Uh, look forward to speaking with you guys and speaking with you guys. Uh, just, you know, whatever. Just subscribe, thumbs up, check out mybringback.com because it's going to be awesome. And I'll catch you guys next tutorial. Peace.